Hey everyone, we've got some news for you. Lainey, take it away. It's summer and we are having a fabulous summer. It's a little cooler than it was a few weekends ago, which we're very excited about. But with summer comes a little bit of a break, but you know us, we can't take full break. So we have a little bit of a surprise, little bit of announcement for you in a minute. But while we're taking our little bit of a break, we're going to be doing some new fun things and giving you some extra time on Galley Club. So that's all I'm going to say, Virginia. What are we changing about Galley Club? I mean, you should ask, Lainey. Um, so what we're going to do is announce both books for the month of September and the month of August, our selections for Galley Club. And we're going to tell you what they are now so you'll have plenty of time to read them and we're also changing the format just a little bit so when we bring the author on we're also going to bring the team on so you can learn all about the book from the team you can hear how they interact with the author and there'll still be plenty of time for you all to ask your questions so more time to read and um just more robust conversation all at the same time so that's what laney and the llama and I have decided to do. Wait. Because that's what the llama sounds like, Lainey. Yeah. Now, what? You're like let's, a ventriloquist. I didn't absolutely. even know. Um, let's reveal the titles for September and October. I feel like this is a secret I shouldn't be sharing. Or you're, you're all in on the secret. So for September... Nice. Yay. We All Want Impossible Things by Katherine Newman. The beautiful book, heartfelt, sad, but funny, with wonderful characters about a female friendship that has stood the test of time and now has the ultimate uh, challenge that these two women face together. Um, I talked about this book in our series, Book a Minute Mondays, otherwise known as BAM. So if you want to listen to that, you can hear me succinctly uh, describe this book, which we both love so much and cannot wait to meet this author, talk to the team and talk to her about this book. Honestly, if you've ever had that forever friend, um, this is the one. Please read this book. You won't forget it. Uh, so that is We All Want Impossible Things. And she. this is our September selection. So you'll meet Catherine and the team behind the book and us, and you'll have plenty of time to ask questions in the episode. All right, drum roll, everybody at home's doing their drum roll. October. <gasps> Laura Zygman, oh my God. If people Laura have Z been following our BAM, our Book a Minute Mondays, they know that you covered this book this week, August 1st, that episode, we'll link to it too below. And you did such a great job. I know you are a big fan of Laura Zygman. I'm such a huge fan of Laura Zygman. I love the way she writes. And this is about two women. They are not friends. They are sisters. Some sisters are friends and some sisters are not. And some sisters wade through um, many things in order to reach some level of friendship. Um, this is a really wonderful story. And it's based sort of on the author's own life about uh, a family growing up and a sibling who uh, was ill and passed away at a young age and the ripple effect that that had on all the members of the family. And so this is a novel and it is the author writes of what she knows and it is really, really good. I just, I love the way she writes. And as Lady said, I talked about this book too on Book a Minute Mondays, otherwise known as BAM. Mm -hmm. And uh, trust me, read this book. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's and a I great writer. It's yeah. interesting. It's an interesting relationship to, to dive into. They're so different, these two, you know? Oh, it's such a good book. I, I just kept thinking about it, thinking I can't wait to stop whatever I'm doing right now to get back to it. So good. I felt mm -hmm. that way about these books. <gasps> you guys are in for such a treat if you haven't read these books so anyway come for the party and again this will be the authors with their teammates uh from the publishing teams of their imprints talking about what it was like to work on this book and you know all the inside skinny ah 
bring your questions, read the books. You've got plenty of time. You've got so much time. Okay, yeah. what else do you want to talk about? Reading. Well, so as you're reading both of those books, we do have a door-to-door -door event, which throws back to our, our past series that we, we resurrect every once in a while when we have an author on that we just love and we want to dive more into their books. So we are going to have Cameron Hall, my goodness, Emmy award-winning TV host and journalist, Cameron Hall on our door-to-door -door on August 9th. Like I said, we take a break, but do we ever really take a break? We do have one in August, at least, coming up. But this will be fun. Her paperback of As the Wicked Watch is coming out this week. It came out today. So happy book birthday, Tamron, on August happy 2nd. But um, this is a first in the series. Her second one is coming. So we're going to hear all about the past book and the new book. And her editor is going to be on. So it's just going to be a lovely afternoon spent with one of the loveliest people we've had conversations with Tamron and, and she's so lovely so we have some great praise of as the wicked watch this book got all the love and this is just a sampling of all of the raves this book got from publishers weekly the book list who started reviews npr it's about finding justice for black victims and she uses her experience as a journalist um those chops are are very evident in this book and you don't believe us look at these look at these reviews and that's all we could fit on the page so much love and respect for this book for this character and um and just excitement for this series again this is the first one in the series the paperback just went on sale so if you didn't catch this one the first time around now's the time so check it out everything is all the links are, are here um in in the where are the links laney in the event page and then uh, dive in and then join the conversation. Tamron Hall and her editor, Harry Farron, on Tuesday the 9th to talk about this book and perhaps a, a peek into the next uh, installment of the series. But really great, great raves for this book. Yeah. All right. So reminder about dates. And I will say all of this is on our Facebook page. So you can go ahead and RSVP. All of the links for eGalleries are there. Anything you need to know on sale dates, sign up. The Zoom link will be available too in this post and in the Facebook event page. If you have colleagues who aren't on Facebook Live, that's fine. They can watch on Zoom or if you prefer that, great. So we have both available and we we really encourage you to go ahead and sign up for all of these events today because then you get reminders and you already have it coming in your inbox. So just a reminder on that. And may I just say, we, you know, these book buzzes that we're doing, we're thinking about resurrecting our um our previous little program which is kind of what we've been doing but it's called under the radar over the moon and these are books that are either debuts or mid-list titles that um you might might not know about might not hear about but they're books that have rested themselves into our hearts and we love them and we want you to know about them um and so think of these buzzes as that sort of these under the radar over the moon books um, fiction, nonfiction, new mid-list, not the powerhouse authors, the well-known authors, the authors that have a long list of books under their belts, you know about those. And that's not to say we won't occasionally talk about them, but we want to bring it back to what was so successful and what most importantly you all thought, told us was very helpful to you. So that's what we wanna do. So it's under the radar over the moon, otherwise known as Yoram, which some people think is a cream for a rash. It's not, your arm's not a rash or a cream. It's short for under the radar over the moon. Okay? All right. <laughs> we need like all of the little print to go roll up the screen. Do not ask your doctor for your arm. It is. <laughs> so it is not a cream, but it is a salve for your book needs. Oh my God, that's Laney. That's a bumper sticker done done so oh we'll be talking God. about these books on our book buzzes we will talk about the galley club selection for the month but we definitely are focusing on a, a long list of titles so come 
and hear all about some new ones in between our big book buzzes we do. This is a perfect way to keep up and hear about those Euron titles. Lainey, I love that. Um, so thanks everyone for all your support. And please come back to chat the conversation with Cameron Hall and dive into that book. And uh, you will you will be hooked on that character and and uh, her writing and it's just pretty and there's just investigative journalism that is so authentic. Um, so that's as the Wicked Watch. I mean, come on, you guys, we're not joking here. So um, yeah, so we'll see you on Tuesday because we work on our vacations and then you won't see us until we're back. September 6th. September 6th. Okay. Yeah, that's the buzz. And then later that month, we're gonna tell you a little bit about this and tell you about all the other titles. Later that month, September 27th, Catherine Newman's gonna be on. She wrote a really great essay about libraries too. And we will link to that. It is. I could just read it word for word because it's so funny and so sweet. And I think it actually gives you a really good, a good vibe for how the book is because it is darker, but like it has so many funny moments and it'll give you a sense of her writing style, which really comes through in this, in this book. It's genius. You've got to read it, please. It'll, it's, it's a piece that she wrote for um, Oprah magazine several years ago. Um, and it's, Oh, it's so funny. I read it at ALA for the sole purpose, well, one, to make people laugh, which it did, but also to illustrate that this author at her heart can see the humor in many things, including this story about um, this friendship and um, the ebbing away of one's life. I am telling you, she's, I can't wait to meet her. Anyway, yeah, definitely read that. You will get a chuckle on the old gotta dive into this book then we're back on october 4th the fall is in full swing and we're going to be telling you about new upcoming titles we're going to tell you about small world a little bit more about that and then join us at the end of the month on october 25th to hear from laura zigman so there we are so until we meet again take good care feed your llamas wear sunscreen Anything else, Lainey? We could end on a really fun video that Rachel, our intern, made. Should <gasps> we do that? Yes, we should do that. Rachel Kim, our intern, is magic and has made this thing for us. And we saw it this morning. We love it. And now you will see it. Yeah. So I'll bid you adieu. Go check out all the links. Sign up for everything. Let us know if you have questions. And... Uh, before we show the video, have a good summer, have a good August. Sunscreen, Charles. <laughs>